Okay, you guys, so here is the bag. 8.2 pounds of Goodwill jewelry. Mixed lot. Just going to give you a little idea of the outside. 8.2 pounds. Collection of costume jewelry lot grab bag. They call it a grab bag. So we're going to open it up and we will get started. And this will be in parts. Um, so I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer. And open this guy up. And we will get started. Smell these trusty little scissors. All right. Bear with me, guys. It is really packed in here. Try not to cut the goods. Hope everybody's doing well on this Easter weekend, Saturday. Give you guys some jewelry to look at over the holiday. All right. Oh man, it is packed in here, tight as can be. So, ooh, this is um, Sarah Coventry. I have the, I have this piece. I actually have an, a set of that, but it's missing a couple of stones, so I have it in crafting. I'm just gonna try and fix it up uh, or put it in crafting. Anyway, you guys, so let's start with this nice big pile, okay? I have all the tools of the trader here. I have my, my neck forms, my magnet. Let me just pull it in a little closer. And let's get to going here, okay? So, first up, we have a necklace. Very pretty. Very Leah Sophia style. I don't know if it is, but it's that kind of a look. Obviously, there's going to be some tangles along the way. I don't see a brand on this. And I'm going to keep going with the number system. And I'm going to give prices for things right on the spot like I always do. Unless it looks like it needs research or it could need testing. Um, but let's put this on the neck form. It's like a cord. Looks like almost like a dark blue and silver tone. The silver tone is very clean. Let me see if I can get this light to cooperate. Uh, there we go. Let's go with that. Um, very pretty. No brand. Um, yeah, just zoom out a tiny bit. I want you guys to be able to see. Bear with me. I'm just getting, getting everything set. We'll do four dollars on this. All right, just a costume piece, pretty like an enamel with some uh, AB stones in there. No brand. Maybe something stamped in there. Let me just take a quick peekaroo behind the scenes here. It looks like some kind of little initials are in there, but I can't tell what. All right, so we're going to call this number one, and we're going to do this for $4. I got to tell you, pulling the pieces was so much easier um, when I got orders from the last video. I just had to go pull the bag by the number, and the price was right on it and everything. I do take them out, though. I don't ship them in these bags. Usually, I ship them in clean bags. I'm just going to reuse these and put, like, another sticker on them. Another clean label each time. Um, I usually package my stuff a little bit differently to ship. Um, so, anyway. Um, four bucks, alright? Oh, I didn't give you guys a measurement. Sorry. Sorry. 
you're all like, come on, Marie, just move on. We want to see this stuff. <laughs> so do I. I got this bag on, I believe it was March 8th. I'll double check. It has the date on the, the label. I believe, I believe it was March 8th. Uh, this has an 8-inch drop and then a 2-inch extension, so 8 to 10-inch. Right, I know you didn't see me do that, but I did it. You can trust me. All right. Next up. Oh, my God. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Statement. We have a statement necklace. Interesting. Very interesting. I still want to get you a little bit further away. There we go. We have blue, light blue. We have lavender, a little darker blue. We are missing a stone here. However, um, oftentimes I find the stones, and by the time I go through the lot, the stone will be there. This one is missing, so I can glue them in if I find them. If not, this will go right into crafting. You can take these segments and decorate your things, frames, etc. I mean, these are still beautiful pieces. All of this can be used. Um, yeah, all this part has the stones. The blue flower is gorgeous. Absolutely can be repurposed. If I find the one, two, three that are missing in here, I'll glue them in. But for now, I just won't even put a price on it. We'll assume it's going to be crafting. Very pretty and a brass tone. Interesting chain, too. It's like an articulated square links. Very, very nice. All right. Sorry, you'll have to go into crafting. I'm just going to put it on the side, though. So if I find the stones, I will, I will fix that. Uh, so we have an earring. I'm going to put all the earrings up there. All right, next let's look at this beaded. We have a nice beaded necklace here of multicolor stones. Definitely not plastic. These are glass. These guys are plastic, the clear ones, but the large ones are glass and stones of some kind or faux stones and seed bead in between pretty it does have a, cla a lobster clasp more nicely strung that's what it looks like on the bust and we'll do six dollars for the multicolored beaded necklace, but all you have to remember that is that it's number two. If you're interested, I'll take a measurement on it. It can be doubled or worn long. It has a 17 inch drop. You got yourself a 32 inch necklace that you can wear long or double it up. Let me bring it up closer just to show. Greens, blues, kind of browns, rust, lots of different greens. Really pretty. All right. Let me put that in the bag. Number two. You guys would love to hear what you're doing for the holiday. If anything, if you celebrate Easter or visit family, drop me a line below. Let me know what you're doing, where you're going, having family over, visiting, traveling. What are you guys doing? I will be traveling tomorrow to see family a couple hours away. All right. Um, we have... Beautiful. Wow, this is very pretty. Oh my. Um, all right, we have something looped in here. Let me just untangle Ooh, wow. Let's hope everything is here. This is a stunner. Wow. These are beautiful. This is a necklace. These stones are gorgeous. Um... I don't see a brand on it. Look 
greens, lavenders. Blues, kind of marbled. Wow, wow, wow. Such pretty colors. Beautiful spring. Spring and summer. Hmm. Jeez, this is beautiful. I mean, it reminds me a lot of Brighton. You know, that kind of style. But, you know, there's no, there's no marking or tags on it. So it's unbranded. You can put it on the, on the neck for him. This is where it's really going to pop. Look at that. All right. It's a little twisted, but you get the picture. Let me untwist it. All right. There it is untwisted. Very sparkly. They feel like glass. Definitely feel like glass, not plastic. These might be like this one might be plastic, but these these guys, I mean, I, they feel like it. I don't know, can't guarantee. There's the back, really beautiful. I don't think it's sterling, but it's really beautiful. We'll do ten dollars for this, okay. And we're going to call this number three. $10. It's really beautiful. Glass stones. Super clean. It looks brand new. There's the back. Let's see. It's nicely made. Has a little detailing on the edges. Let me get a measurement on it. So pretty, so, so pretty. It's a seven inch drop and a three inch extension. So seven to 10 inch drop, $10, item number three. And guys, the way I do it is, you know, it's first come first serve, just send me the email and I just start at the, um, bottom of the email list because the first one is comes in at the bottom so I start at the bottom work my way up and um, as the requests come in I just keep a notepad and I write down um, who bought it etc so um, a good idea is to have my email have your email program open and have an open email to morally resale at aol.com so that when you see a piece you like, you can just hit, you know, just type it in number three and hit send. Because sometimes, um, you know, you it's just a matter of a minute or two where somebody's email came in first. Um, so try to be quick. All right. Next up, we have this silver with glass beads, blue like an aqua, like a dark aqua blue color. Uh, I don't see any markings on it. Very pretty. It's a little weighty because these are glass. It's three strands. Let me see, one, two. Yeah, it's like snake chains, three strands. I'm just trying to get them separated a little bit. It has that clickety clack sound if you enjoy that in your jewelry. Definitely has plenty of clickety clack and tons of sparkle. It's coming in more as a straight up blue in the video but in person it's a blue green it's like an aqua color glass lobster glass closure i don't think it's sterling doesn't look like sterling 
Just looks like a silver tone. Let me get a measurement on it. We'll do this for 10 as well. It's very nice piece, glass stones. Uh, it's a seven inch drop and you've got about two, two and a half inches on the extension. All right, this is gonna be number four. We'll do this for 10 as well. I think we're doing really good so far. Really good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. I should have opened these bags first. I meant to do that. But maybe next time. All right. Number four. All right. Next up, we have a gold tone bracelet, kind of a plastic and gold tone with the slide adjustment. These are really nice because, you know, obviously they're nice and adjustable. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I don't see any markings on it. We just look real close with the, um, I'm going to take it out of frame for a second, you guys. Um, I don't see any markings of any kind or branding on it. It's very pretty. Really, really nice. It's not gold. We'll do $4 on this. This will be piece number five. And we'll do it for $4. And obviously this can be any, any size. So, I mean, I'll put it on here anyway, but you know, it can be anything from, from anything. It can be as small as, as small as six, six and a half to as long as whatever. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. And then you have the little. I love the little, um, the little ends that hang when you're wearing a bracelet like that. It's so cute. All right. Really nice and perfect condition. This is like brand new. It's, it's in brand new condition. If it isn't brand new, it's in like brand new condition. It's sparkling clean. There's no wear on it anywhere at all. All right. Number five. All right. Next up, we have a ring. There is some markings in there. I guess that's a ring? Some kind of crazy. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't call something crazy when another person might like it. It's not magnetic. Let me see. There is markings in there. Could it be something else? I don't know. Uh... There's markings in it, pat pending. I see patent and then numbers, but I don't see, um, and I see there's more in the bag. I see a couple more over here. I don't, I can't imagine what they would be. Oh, here's something right here. Lu Lucy, L-U-C-I. Lucy T-M. I'll have to look it up. I, 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 that can't be a ring because it's so long. Um, I don't know. I have to research this. Anybody who knows what this is, let me know. There, there's two others, so we'll see when we come across those. I'm just going to put that aside, see what's going on with that, and I'll test it too for sterling because it wasn't magnetic. All right, next up we have a corded necklace, like a suede and a dark chain i don't see a brand on it we have some maybe amber don't know and metal metal or plastic it has a little bit of pull i'm trying to figure out if that's brass or plastic i think it's plastic We'll do this for $2. Anybody's interested? A little suede necklace with some type of stone. 
two bucks. All right. Number six. Two dollar. Wow, this is a real hit. This is a real hit. And we've barely scratched the surface. Wow, 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 wow. I am impressed. This looks like, I don't know, maybe repurposed. Clamper, uh, not a clamper, just a cuff bracelet. I will test it. The, oh, there's some, there's something in there, a mark. This to me, it just looks like something that was added. They're glued on there, but maybe not. Let me look at it with the loop, guys. Hang on. Mm, maybe not. It might it might have been born like that. It has the words Lauren Lauren Hel Hope. Lauren Hope. L H. Lauren Hope. So I will research that before I price it. Um, because I'm not familiar at all with this brand. It's not magnetic. Could be, um, it can't be silver because it's too dark. But I will look into this. A little bit bent, but still a usable piece for sure. I'm going to look into this. And um, anything that I, I'm going to look into, guys, I will bring into the next video. We'll, like, open up the video with, with that, with things that I was going to research. Because I don't want to, you know, just let them go by the wayside. I want to bring it back and let you guys know what turned out and all of that. Um, next up, we have this necklace. It feels like a some kind of stone. It feels hard. Not like plastic, but like a stone. Bronze tone um round pendant um some kind of like um like a chain like a mesh chain meshy beads they feel hard like beads and not plastic like stones of some sort nice cap beads on there bronze tone Bronze tone chain. All right, let's put it on. I don't see a brand in there. But let's put it on. I didn't give you a measurement on that last necklace. But anybody who's interested, just let me know in the email if you want it. I'll give you the measurement if you want it. Um, we'll do this for... Um, Let's do this for five dollars. Very nice. Really nice. Good shape. No brand. Lobster clasp. Let right, me get a measurement. And also, um, most of you guys know, I charge uh, $5 for shipping. It's just a flat rate of five for as many pieces as you want. Uh, we have an eight inch drop on this and an extension, another three inch in the extension. Really nice. It's really nice, I like that. Earthy, earth tones. Pendant is about two and Maybe two and a quarter inch or so. Um, this is piece number, did we do a seven? I don't think so. Piece number seven. What did I say, five dollars? Don't know, five bucks. Beautiful, earth tones. Tans, browns, bronze tone, these nice stones. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I really appreciate the pieces. That's why, like, I sometimes will look and then look at it again because I'm seeing all this for the first time, too. Um, and I know you guys want it to move along and you want to see the stuff. And, you know, so I, I try not to do that too much. But sometimes I just want to study the pieces more or just look at them a little bit harder. But uh, I'll try to keep that at a minimum. Piece number seven, $5. Okay. All right, you guys, next 
Ooh, what do we got? What in heck? Bracelet? Ooh. It looks like a girl's, maybe, because that's a small circle. I mean, obviously, there is an extension, too, but let's see. Let me just clip it onto the smallest. Is this a bracelet, you guys? Wow, that could be a real stone of some sort. So this one I'll hold on to also. I'm ordering my Presidium this weekend, right after the holiday when I get home. And uh, I'm taking Monday off work, so I'll have a day to myself. I'm going to sit down and um, order my Presidium. So by next week, after I get it, I'll be able to test um, stones. So I'm going to hold on to this because I'm going to research it more and see if that's like genuine stones. I don't see any mark. Uh, I don't think it's sterling. But I hesitate to price it until I know um, it's not magnetic. So I'm definitely going to test this guy more. I'm going to test it for um, the the extension is magnetic, but this part is not. I'm going to test it more, and I'm going to um, test the stone as well. So um, it can be small. When I do bring it back to show you guys in the next video or the one after, um, just to get an idea, it's smallest is six inch, and then it can go all the way up to probably about nine. It looks like another three inches there. So if anybody's interested, just stay tuned or drop me an email. Let me know that once I research it, you're interested in that piece. I still haven't tested the jade bracelet or what looks like jade. A couple of you guys inquired about it. Um, but once I, I'll test that once I get the tester as well. This is just a stretch bracelet. Silver tone with turquoise-like stones. This has no magnetism either. And that doesn't mean it's sterling. But it's just one of the puzzle pieces to do some process of elimination. Um, I may test it. Yeah, I'll test this too. Let me just take a look with the loop. Doesn't, yeah, this could be, I don't think it's sterling, because I don't think usually precious metals are put on elastic, but I don't know. I'll test it just to be sure. It's very nice, pretty. This is probably the dyed um, halite. It has a really good stretch to it. I'm just going to eliminate the sterling factor, and it's, as long as it's not sterling, I'll bring it in and sell it on, on the next the next um, video okay all right next we have another glass bracelet glass lots of glass i'm so happy with this lot i can't believe the beautiful stuff that i'm getting in this it's gorgeous stuff um gold tone toggle and gold tone spacer beads bring it up closer yeah, I do struggle with those toggles sometimes. I don't know if that's supposed to be easier to put on on yourself. These are nice. Pretty gold beads. Gold tone, antique gold tone kind of. Look at that. It's like sandwiched in between. See that layer in there and then and this is what I mean, like I'm trying to see the detail um, because this is the first time I'm seeing everything as well. So I'm trying to do it in a speedy fashion, but also by getting a good idea what everything is or, or might be. And I'm having a hard time with the toggle, but it's going. There it is. At least you know it'll hold well once it's on. It's not stretch. It's... Um, I guess just some kind of wire or something non-stretchy. So let me just put this on here. And we have about six and a quarter inch on this. Um, glass beads. We'll do four dollars. Piece number eight. 
four dollars really pretty I guess it's a little on the small side though um, six and a quarter inch I guess that's pretty average I don't know all right very very pretty a little bit AB finish a little bit not really no not really a b but like sort of throws a little bit of some of these like throw a little iridescence it's almost like you kind of have to see it in person you can't always see everything through the lens also guys just um a little tidbit of information i am viewing these pieces through my i don't know how anybody else does it but i'm viewing it through um through the phone through the camera when I bring it up unless I pull it away to check the loop so that's why I can say oh you know um, for instance this looks a little more blue green but it's coming through as blue so I, I want to see it through the lens of the camera and see how it's being how it's coming across um, in the video all right so we have a necklace another no wow 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 that's an earring <laughs> It's an earring, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty. More beads. Um, gun metal and clear. I don't, I don't, I think these are glass too. I tap it on my tooth. These are glass. These are not plastic stones. The clear ones feel like glass to me. Um, silver tone, no brand. I wonder where does all this jewelry come from, you guys? I just don't know. There's a little knot on this. Where does it come from that it has no brand on it? And Goodwill gets a hold of it. It's not like all this came out of somebody's jewelry box. I think there's like liquidations and things. I'm just curious as to why so many pieces aren't branded. So I tend to think that maybe like bigger stores buy the pieces and sell them under their own name or um, I don't know, like, like let's say Torrid or I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there as an example or Cold Water Creek or wherever you go and shop and they have these jewelry displays, but I don't see brands on any of it. Well, at least not in this lot. So I always wonder... So this looks a little stiff. It does work. You just have to push it. Yeah. Let me get a measurement on this. Very, very pretty. I mean, basic. It's just gunmetal and clear. Faceted. 8-inch drop and a 3-inch extension. Just do this for... Uh, let's do $3 because that latches a little. It holds. It holds. You just have to put it on and then just push. Well, that time it, it actually just closed on its own. Yeah, it's closed on its own. But if you pull it all the way like this and then put it through, it sticks and you have to just close it. But if you just pull it a little bit, It's stuck again. Yeah, just push it. It's fine. That's why I'm going to do it for whatever I said. What I say? Three bucks. Three bucks. All right, number nine. Three dollars. Still pretty. Still functional clasp. You just got to make sure it's, it's closed. Look at all that sparkle. Very pretty. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at it on black. Wow. Wow and wow. I am impressed. I am thrilled with this bag. I mean, we haven't even made a dent in it. And there's only been one piece that really had um, missing beads. And I might even find them. Who knows? And it's still good for crafting. It was this one. Like, even for crafting value, it's beautiful. All right, number nine, three buckaroonies. All right, next up. This is so pretty. It's glass. They feel glass. These are glass also. Yes. Got your bicones in there. I mean, these could be Swarovskis. I don't know that they are, but, you know, who knows? There's no, um, there's no information. There's no brand. Doubt it's Swarovski, Swarovskis, but I'm just saying. You just, it's hard to know. It's just kind of like, 
little mysteries that you have to put the pieces together, you know, check for magnetism, check for marks. It's fun. Look how pretty this is. Multicolored, silver tone, no brand. It's magnetic, but the beads are glass and it's beautiful. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, and pretty. Five dollars for this one. Five dollars. And it has the little charm at the extension. Love that color. I love that light green, that peridot kind of color. It just lights me up. All right. Eight inch drop and about a four inch extension. Eight at its shortest plus four. What did I say? Five bucks? I just forgot what number we were on. Ten. I think I said five dollars. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So happy. I'm so happy with this lot. This isn't even like a dent made in it. We've already got ten beautiful pieces. Ten sellable, wearable, enjoyable pieces. Gold tone. Somewhat chunky gold tone chain. Let me check it for markings. Uh, I don't see anything. Off the top of my head, but let's put her on. Let's put her on the black. So you have two different lengths here. You have oval and you have round, um, which kind of makes it a little more interesting than when it's just one kind of link. You got two different little shapes and sizes. Very nice. It's magnetic. Seven inch drop, three inch extension, five dollars. Number eleven. Clean, shiny, beautiful condition. Nice tone of gold, too. It's like a nice, some of them are so fake looking, but this is really nice. Beautiful. Okay, next up, we've got some old priceless, don't know, but it's missing a letter. It's going to go into crafting. This looks like something else, though, separate, be yourself, crafting. Yeah, because, well, yeah, I guess somebody could use some of these letters, maybe. Uh, definitely can use this, this little tab that says be yourself. Imagine making like a little wooden trinket box and decorating it with things like that, with flowers around it, be yourself, and a uh, little inspirational quotes and things like that for a teenager or something. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna, I just wanna separate this out because I'm gonna throw away this. I guess it said priceless. I'm not sure if somebody could recycle any part of that. 
All right, maybe I'll put that in craft too. Although this is Benny, yeah, I'm gonna put this in trash. That's going in trash. I will put this into crafting. All right, next up, here's a gold tone and tiny pearl necklace looped into this beautiful bracelet. Oh, this might be staying with me. Hmm, that's pretty. All right, let's look at the necklace first. Uh, spring ring could could mean it's vintage. I'm going to see if I see anything on this tab. Avon. All right, so we got some vintage Avon. Vintage Avon necklace. It's in good shape. This, the gold tone is in really good shape. There it is. We'll do $8 for the vintage Avon necklace. All right. And that would be number... It's going to be, it has an 11 inch drop. All right. How much did I say? I don't remember. Oh my God. <laughs> did I say eight or did I say 12? I don't remember. So whoever wants this, just uh, tell me what I said. I don't remember, but uh, it is number 12. I remember that. So that's why I'm like, did I said $12 or $8 on number 12. Um, so whatever I said is what I'll honor. Uh, just tell me number 12 and uh, I'll go back and look it up or you can just let me know what I said. It's really pretty. It's in great shape. Super clean for those who collect Avon. So, and also just a little trick. Um, leaving a little tail outside like this with your zip locks kind of helps to avoid tangles a little bit. Sometimes when I ship I do that. All right, next up, um, this is really pretty. Uh, some type of green stone, moss, agate, or I don't know. I, I don't know a whole lot about stones, you guys. So tell me what this looks like. Don't know. It's super pretty. Yeah. Super duper pretty. I'm probably going to hang on to this little hook closure. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. I hang on to it for now. Oh, let me just see if there's any markings on it. But we are batting a thousand. It's definitely some type of, you know, stone, natural stones. I wish I could get in the focus. Tell me what those are, you guys. I don't know. I wonder if it's real silver. Oops, wrong end. Oh, it's magnetic. It's not silver. But it looks like genuine stones of some sort, and it is pretty. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah. Sorry. I got to keep that one just for now. I'll probably wear it and then sell it eventually. This is a Sarah Cove. You guys have come across this set before. This one appears to have all of its stones. I have the necklace and the bracelet and I think the earrings, but the set I had a couple of stones came out and I have them. I was going to glue them in and I was thinking, should I sell it? But if a couple fell out, maybe more are going to fall out. I don't I don't know. That's the thing about vintage, too, is like it's great that it's vintage, but also your cements and your glues and stuff uh, are, you know, degrading over the years. But this appears to have, I'm just going to take another quick look. I don't see any missing stones. So if anybody wants this, I know it's Sarakov. I don't even have to look. I know it is because I have it. Um, come across it and I, I believe it's vintage but there's your mark 
right there. Um, so this has all of its stones. Very pretty. It is pretty. It's, it reminds me of Christmas time for some reason. It just looks like great like Christmas jewelry to me. Or any time. I mean, I don't want to lock it into that, you know. Um, we'll do this for ten dollars. Let me put it on the. It sits at about seven inch. Ten bucks on the Sarakov. All the stones are present. Just looking at it one more time because it can be. Sometimes you miss them, but it looks like they're all there. Ten bucks, Sarah Coventry. Number thirteen. Ten dollars. It's beautiful. Nice and heavy. Nice. Maybe we'll come across uh, the uh, a necklace or earrings that I know it had. Um, came with necklace. The set had bracelet, necklace, earrings. There was a couple of variations on the earrings. Some of them were triangular. Some of them were oval. But it came in several variations. Um, but there. All right. Next up. Wow, wow, and wow. You guys. I can't say it enough. I'm, I am so happy with this lot. I haven't even scratched the surface. We're, we're 46 minutes in. Uh, I don't want to wrap it up. I want to keep going. <laughs> So we have a silver tone, uh, somewhat chunkyish chain. Beautiful, beautiful condition. Super duper clean, super shiny. There is absolutely no tarnish whatsoever. Let me check for a name. It has a spring ring, so it may be vintage. It doesn't mean it necessarily is. I don't see any markings on it. Thank you again to the person who reminded me to use my magnet. This is not, um, the clasp is magnetic, but the chain is not. I'll check it for sterling. I don't think it is, but I will check it. So again, we'll put that one aside and maybe I'll do a separate video on all the pieces that I had to test. Here's a little pin. I just saw this off to the side. It must've been stuck to something else in the lot. What the heck? Dance your dance. Nice. I love. And it's little musics and music notes glued to a. This must have been a little crafting project. I'll put this into crafting. Okay. All right. Um, I just had a saw it over there to, to my right. I didn't have any jewelry over to the right. It's all over here to the left, but it must have been. I must have flown when I opened it or something. All right, this is interesting. It has a brand. We have Liz and Company. Looks like uh, several tier. One, two, three, four, five or so. It's cute. I'm going to clean it. It looks a little dirty. Not tarnished, though. It just looks like it needs a little. Um, just clean it. I clean all my stuff anyway before it goes out. You guys know that. But it looks in, in good shape. Blue and dark blue and silver tone. Pretty. Four bucks. Okay, good shape. Good shape. Seven inch drop and another two inch on your extension. Liz and Co. Four dollars, and that is number fourteen, I believe. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna call it fourteen. I don't know if we had a thirteen. I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure the Sarah Cove was thirteen. So number fourteen is four dollars. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it right here. I'm always gonna keep the last piece here, so I don't forget what number I'm up to. All right, we are batting a thousand, batting a thousand, batting a thousand. Okay, 
Next, next, next. I'm so excited. I don't know, it's some kind of pendant. Rose, looks like a rose and some crystals. This looks like it should have a brand. It just looks interesting, like it should have a brand on it. It is entangled with some a beaded necklace over here. I'm gonna try and get it out. Oh, look at that butterfly. Oh. Uh, let me just try and get it out. Give me one second. Okay. It is gold tone with a brown cord interlaced throughout the chain. How interesting. Let me just get the slack out there. Hmm. hmm. There we go. There we go. All right. So it's gold tone. Yeah, with this brown or black. It looks like dark brown interlaced um, with this beautiful rose pendant. Hang on, guys. I'm going to bring it up. Outline of a rose. Same on the back, only the back doesn't have the rhinestones like the front, or little crystals. Little teeny tiny crystals. Let me take a look with the loop. I just want to make sure all the little bitties are there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Really pretty little crystals. I'm just making sure they're all present. Yes, they're all present. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love that chain with the interlaced. It's not magnetic. Oh, the chain is magnetic, but this part is not. There's no name brand on it. Let me put it on the neck for him. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Let's do um, six dollars. Piece number fifteen. Do six on that. That's real nice. Clean, beautiful, shiny. No wear, no no issues at all. Beautiful. Just trying to show you uh, the clasp and everything. There we go. I had it a little bit jammed. There you go. Little lobster clasp. Everything working. Everything shiny. Whoops. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. So pretty. Number 15. Okay. All right. Let's do another piece and then maybe I should wrap it up for this video. This looks like apparently it was broken. It was in a bag. That was nice of Goodwill to bag it, to bag the components. Oh my. Look at these beautiful glass beads. Oh, wow. Wow. This was a necklace in its previous life. Or, wait. This was separate. Okay, this is a necklace in and of itself. I don't know if these pieces were looped on here? No, they can't be. They wouldn't fit. This is glass. It looks like silver tone. It doesn't look like... Yeah, it's magnetic. Yeah, that's interesting. These beads are beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah, see, this came off something else. Well, obviously, but 
Look at these beads. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. All right, let me put those aside. This will definitely go into crafting. If anybody's interested in the one necklace, these are this is glass. Absolutely. I think. Four dollars. Okay. Get a measurement on it. The chain's a little dingy. I will say the chain is a little bit dingy, but this can be put on another chain. If you want it on another chain, I will put it on another chain. Just let me know. I'll put it on a stainless steel chain for you. Four bucks. It has about a nine inch drop. And the pendant itself is about an inch and a quarter, maybe. Orange. Uh, purple, red. And there's little flowers on this bead. All glass. Little glass flowers on top of that second bead. Interesting. Just let me know. I'll put it on a chain for the same price. $4. I'll put it on a nice new chain for you. That's what I like to do. I just like to sell jewelry. I want people to get nice things that they enjoy. Piece number 16. $4. And yeah, I, I'm doing this to make a, I like to make a profit too. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want to pass along good deals so that like everybody wins, you know, you guys get good deals on pieces and I make a little money. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. Like, you know, making money at something that you enjoy doing and it's just, it's just good, clean fun and it brings like happiness to people. Jewelry is... It's just something like, I look at like art, like little bits of art and to make you feel good and to decorate yourself a little bit. All right, number 16, $4. All right, I said that was the last piece I was gonna do, but you know what? I lied, because we're gonna do this one too. Tortoise shell, beautiful tortoise shell, but it is twisted up. Let's twist it up. All right, so this won't be our last piece because I don't want our last piece to be untangling. All right, here's a gold chain with a little, um, oh, a little like circus elephant. Like he's not natural. He has like a, a shroud, like a, a little wrap on him or something. Like a little show elephant or something. He has like a little thing over him. Which bothers me. I don't like. I don't know. I don't really like when people use animals for for show. Um, but I, I don't think that was me. I just said it was a little circus elephant because of, of the shroud on it. As opposed to like just a natural elephant walking somewhere. It's really cute. It's super cute. The chain is clean. Don't mind me going off on a little tangent, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's it's attracting to the magnets. It's not gold. We don't have 14 karat gold. It's just uh, although this isn't this isn't sticking, so maybe I'll test this guy. But presuming he's not 14 karat, we'll do um, four dollars on the little cute, cute, adorable little elephant with a little. Um, like whatever you call that scarf type thing draped over cute the chain is in really good shape like it's clean it's not dingy or anything so we do four dollars for the little elephant okay let me just put him on to so you can see Look how cute he is put him on the black i think it's gonna pop more you can see how clean the chain is on the black very sparkly super duper clean and there's your little elephant he's so cute so cute how much did I say 
four dollars or five dollars i don't remember oh my god whatever i said it is all right number 17. four dollar elephant all right so with that you guys i am going to wrap up this one number 17 our four dollar elephant i'm going to wrap up this one thanks so much for tuning in we are at an hour here so i want to get this uploaded and out to you and we have so much more this is going to be i don't know how many parts but this is already part one and there's more to come so thanks for tuning in i will see you guys soon happy easter if you celebrate happy weekend if you don't happy saturday happy sunday happy every day i will see you guys soon thanks bye